Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about home prices. Dave Ramsey made the statement that the root of all pricing on houses is going to be driven by supply and demand. We still are seeing more demand in the market than supply. However, we're seeing a shift based on affordability, which is driven by rates and or prices and a factor of income. So we're going to talk through some of this. I want to talk about home prices and what we're going to see happen from the numbers that I'm looking at as I pull market information and as I look at what's happening nationally and what some of the experts are saying. So we're going to dive into this and go right through it. Supply and demand is changing. We're seeing more listings come on market, not just locally, but nationally. We are seeing it locally trend the same as nationally. So as we see more listings come on market, we're seeing showings are decreasing. The buyers that are there are either being sidelined based on rate movement, or the buyers that are there are having the option of picking what they want to choose. During the pandemic, there was such a limited amount of inventory and demand was still so high, people were buying and settling on homes that they really didn't want they were compromising because they needed a home more than they wanted to live in their car. So now we're seeing that that's shifting a little bit and buyers are starting to have some selection, but demand is up. So what's going to continue to happen for home pricing? Let's look at, and we can see what the experts are saying right now in the market. Ivy Zellman, who runs Zellman Group, really great economist, very bright, brilliant lady, studies the market, understands it, and a lot of people trust what she says. She stated that home prices are going to go down in 2023 by her estimate of 4%. She then stated, so let's say 4% in 23. She then stated that in 24, they're going to go down 5%. So over the next two years, you can anticipate if Ivy's right, that you're going to see a decrease in home prices. Again, prices. We're not necessarily talking about value. We're talking about prices in transactions by 9%. I want to clarify when I say value versus home prices, pricing is determined by the need or the want of the seller and the buyer. If, if I have a life event and I need to sell my home and I'm competing with other homes on the market, I'm going to decrease price until I can sell it. If I don't need to, then that doesn't determine the value of the home based on the value of replacement and or what somebody would pay for it in a truly normalized market. We're talking about home pricing here, okay? We're not talking about values. She's stating that over the next two years, she thinks pricing will come down nine. Now there's other experts in the market, and we'll get into this a little bit later, but they're talking about it increasing. I want to take the most drastic picture we can because I want you to have certainty and I want you to have an educated ability to go in with the right strategy. So if it goes down nine, is that bad? Buyers, this is an opportunity. Sellers are willing to negotiate unlike they were a couple of years ago because they want to sell. There's a reason that they're on the market to sell. They have a desire to sell for a reason. Buyers use this to negotiate. Now I do want to point out, and I've stated this in other, other shows that we've done or other clips that we've done a video, 9%, remember that during the pandemic when demand was just outrunning everything and there was no supply and people were paying whatever they had to, people were on average paying 16 or more percent over the list price to get the home. That shouldn't scare you. That's simply us saying, worst case scenario, what's going to happen? Think of this as deceleration, not depreciation. Values are still remaining. We're decelerating because there's buyers that are sidelining and that's going to decelerate the market, meaning it's just not going to sell in a weekend. What's going to be your average days on market? Now I have some US average days on market we'll talk about in another, another clip, but this is really good information when we're looking at what's happening with home prices. We'll do another show and we'll hit this a little deeper with a couple more experts, but I wanted to share this here. I'm going to read you a quote that was from John Polson. John is a billionaire hedge fund manager. This is what John said about the market. We're not at risk of a collapse today in the financial system like we were before. It's true, housing may be a little frothy, so housing prices may come down or 
they may plateau, but not to the extent that it happened before. And I close that quote. So John stating, yeah, we're going to see some decrease. Another expert looking at markets, looking at trends. Who are we looking at? Who are we trusting? Is it the headline that's trying to capture our attention? Or is it somebody who is actually in and is an expert in the marketplace to say what's happening? Ivy's an expert. We are going to see home prices decrease, but that doesn't mean that home values are decreasing. So keep that in mind, there's a difference. Thanks for being here today.